Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a good high quality TV aerial lead uh, which you can connect into sockets or you can use for, plug into a satellite receiver. Um, it's just so much better to just make your own one, make a good high quality one because the factory made ones you get, often are, you know, really skinny ones, are often so poor that they themselves can cause aerial problems uh, and sometimes the insertion loss, the actual amount of signal you lose down the cable, it doesn't warrant keeping that cable in your system. So uh, as standard nowadays, we just tend to make new leads wherever possible. You can buy good quality leads, but uh, that are sort of gold plated, um, but they're just a waste of money. You can, you can do it yourself and save, you know, a few quid. Uh, and it's actually quite easy to do with, you know, general tools you've got laying around the house. And the advantage of doing it this way as well is you can cut it to the exact cable length you want when you buy factory leads, you're restricted to the cable length you buy. Uh, and also if you're going through a wall or something, because you've got to get the connector through, you've got to have to drill a massive hole for a wall. So just to get a, you know, a, a cable through would normally fit through an 8mm eight mil, eight mil hole, or uh, I don't know what that is in the US, <laughs> that's probably about a quarter of an inch maybe, 8mm, uh, yeah about a quarter of an inch. Um, it'll go through a tiny hole like that. Uh, but if you're doing it with a connector, you might have to drill something like a 15mm hole, so a half inch hole, two thirds of an inch, something like that. Um, so without any further ado, uh, let's begin. So to, the stuff you're going to need, obviously you're going to need a plug. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a, a TV aerial, a high quality TV aerial wall plate and a high quality satellite wall plate, which is even more important because satellite uses higher frequencies, it's a lot less forgiving. Um, so you have to be using good quality cables. So you're going to need the plugs themselves, so I've just got them up here, so Kyx plugs. You're going to need two of them, so you're going to need one either end. If you're going into a female socket, or a male socket, sorry, where the, um, it won't fit, you're going to need either a female plug, so they can, they can be inserted, or you're going to need a, a coax coupler, which has got two female ends on it, and then that, that'll go into that, and then you can shove your, your plug into it. Uh, and likewise for the satellite version, you're going to need some two F plugs. This is just a screw on F plug I've got here. Easiest to make, and it'll be fine for finding it properly. Um, and you're going to need the sockets themselves, so I've got a satellite socket and I've got a TV aerial socket and of course you're going to need the cable which I've got in my pocket here. Um, now we're going to start with the satellite cable, so just to speed this video up, I've done one end already, so one end's already got an F connector on it. Um, so you're going to have to do twice the amount of work as me. <laughs> and tools we're going to need are standing blade, preloaded and a set of side cutters or just a set of scissors or something would be fine we just we just use them to cut through the coax uh, so let's go to the other end now if it, this video isn't necessarily about how to make a TV aerial, an NF type connection or a coax connection we've got separate videos for that so if you want a more detailed video on showing you how to make specifically the plugs we're making then go watch that they'll be in the links below um, otherwise you should be able to keep up what I'm doing so we're just going to make a little ring around the cable about a centimetre from the end Just drop that on the floor, I'll have to hoover that up later. <laughs> and so what we've done there, we've just pulled back the, the braid, we've removed the screen, your cable might not have the screen, but if you've got good cable, which you should be buying, um, remove that as well. And then we're gonna make a little incision with this Stanley blade, just cutting the dielect dielectric a bit like that. That's foam, you might have a, like a plasticky type dielectric in your cable, but it's the same idea, just cut it back. Uh, so we're left with something like that. Uh, now we're gonna grab our F-plug, Yeah. And we're just going to literally, this has got like a little thread on the inside, and we're just going to screw over the top of that, so, screw over that. Now it should feel quite snug, you know, it shouldn't be like really easy to get on, it should, obviously it shouldn't be impossible, impossible either, but um, if it's loose and it feels like it's going to pull off, it hasn't been done properly, or you haven't quite got the right connector for the right cable, um, which can be a bit of a problem sometimes. Um, if it's not, you might have to improvise a little bit, like just putting a bit of a wrap, wrap a tape around the cable first. Uh, but we're left with something like this. So, cut back. I've just cut back the, the centre conductor, so it's just two mil about at the other end. Um, now that 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 plug, it's not going anywhere. I mean, if I pulled it as hard as I could, if I want, you know, I could, it probably would pull off. But you can sort of see it hasn't, it hasn't moved a bit, and uh, I pulled it quite hard there. Uh, and then that's that, so that's where you just have to repeat that process on the other end of the cable uh, to there, and then screw that in. So you can sort of see how easy this is. Um, I think 
the spool plate's been screwed in so many times. There you go, it's gone in. If you find it difficult to screw up, uh, just give it a bit of a wiggle like I'm doing, it just helps you know, encourage the movement on the plug. Now you should get that as sort of as tight as you can get your finger tight. You might want to do a little, little tiny turn with an 11 mm spanner or some cutters or something. But that's it, so we've got our incoming satellite signals, which uh, aren't actually here at the moment, but um, they're going to be here. <laughs> so that's just connected to the wall plate, but we're going we're to pretend that there's a working satellite signal behind that cable, which sort of kind of would be here. Uh, and then that's where you need to go into our satellite receiver. So that could go into your Skybox, your FreeSat box, or any other satellite system you have. Um, I can't tell what's popular with the US and Australia. Um, so we get a lot of views of our of our videos from there. So whatever whatever you've got over there. Uh, and next one, so we're going to do the TVL socket. It's on this one. I've got a coax plug. Now this is a, a male coax plug. You can get female coax plugs, which will go to that one. Uh, but the majority of um, TVL sockets will have a male, uh, a female socket on them, so that'll go like that. But you've also got, usually they, they kind of even represent it as like an out, so we've got in an in and out, they would have a lot, the out would be the male side, but not here. Uh, so we're going to make this coax plug this side. So this is a little bit different, same sort of idea, but with a sandy blade, we're going to, you know, about an inch in, 25 mil. Two and a half centimetres. <laughs> um, we're going to do that. So we've just, we've just taken the cable back to there. And similar sort of idea, pull that back. Uh, and remove the screen. Now I should have put the ring on first, but it doesn't matter. Where's that plug? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we've got to unassemble the coax plug. Now, some of them are different. Some you'll get a little. Um, a little screw down bit inside, but this one doesn't have it. Uh, and that bit yeah, is going to go over the cable there with the thread sort of facing forward. Sort of there. Uh, now, this bit, sorry, I'm a little bit short, so I'm sort of doing this above my head. <laughs> uh, right, and then that's going to literally go on there and hold that back. That's just so we can keep that in position and make a you know a relatively reliable connection with that. Um, and the same sort of idea with this, so with the, with the cutting tool we're going to cut around the dielectric and that will just spin out of position present give us that now we want to bend this like that, it's got a little natural bend on it that just when we put the next bit on it'll make sense, but that'll help make a good connection with that so on the last bit to cut, plug that bit comes out in the middle and that will go over the top of that so we're left with something like that now I can see that that's just the coax is a tiny bit too long. We don't really want that pen, you know, sort of sticking out much further than that. So we take a little nip off that, and then with the last remaining bit, got that part of the plug. That will go like that. We'll screw that back in position. So yeah, one coax plug. because so we can use that for TV aerials, um, certain radios and stuff like that. Use this type of connection as well, and that can just go straight into our socket, like so. Now these are screen sockets, and they, you know, the, the socket should be quite snug, so you can get, if you've got a little wobble on your socket or something like that, or it's falling out, get them socket, because it's, it's, you know, you've probably got a break in there somewhere, it's just not very good. Uh, and then the other end we've got our connection that's already been made, that you're going to have to do again, uh, and then that can go into TV, and that's, that's how you do it. So uh, I hope you like this video, I hope it's of some use to you, I hope it saved you money, I hope it's uh, maybe improved your aerial reception where you've taken an old crap lead out and put a good high quality bit of coax in. Um, I didn't talk a lot about the, oh, I did talk about the coax, didn't I? Uh, just make sure you're getting good, good coax, and because, you know, what's the point in sort of spending, you know, saying 50p or something like that, just to, you know, compromise your whole system. Uh, and please do give this video a thumbs up, please do give it a like, a share if you watch it on Facebook, and please, please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see more videos like this. Um, and that's it. So I'm Tom from Smart Aerials. Bye for now.